Alright guys, as promised, we're going to do start a run of Jeopardy for a PS3. So let's get right down to it. See how much I can win here. See if I can get a run started. If y'all saw the last video, I won a million sixteen thousand seven hundred dollars on Wheel of Fortune. To get that Halloween Spooktacular started. This is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestant. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. You're so subtractive. Okay, that's a good one. I only have eyes, only have eyes for, you. for you. Monroe Puri. Monroe Puri. American, American history. history. Pretty good category. Plays. Plays and country, country cookbooks. cookbooks. All right, let's get back let's do, to You're so subtractive for 200. It's 237 minus 113. Where's 124? Okay, player one. Yeah! You're so subtractive for player one, 400. 117 minus 47 minus 10 equals this. With 60. It's player one. Yeah. That's right, way to go. You're so subtractive Player for 600. 99 minus 55 minus 33 minus 11 equals this. Zero with zero. Player one. Good. You get to pick and, and we got the deli double very early, too early. Let's make it a true deli double. Here is your clue. 1127 minus 121 minus 116 equals this. Let me figure out my head. 121 plus 116 is 237. It's 890. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. You again, player you're one. You're so from the Latin for diminish. It's the term for a number from which another number is subtracted. Let's hear it, player one. What is the menu ed? That was easy. You get to now let's get through the hard one. stuff. I only have eyes for you for 200. Tetra helix is the English variety of this climbing plant. Let's hear it, player one. What is the ivy? Yeah. I only have I see you for it. Here with the clue is Kelly. In monozygotic or this type of twins, the genetic makeup of each twin is exactly the same. Well, identical. Okay, player one. Oh. Right. Select again. Six hundred. Roger that, Houston. The rocket engines have reached this point of firing to life. Hmm. Here is what we wanted. Ignition. Oh, where's ignition? Never mind. 800. It's a list of places to be visited on a journey. Where's the itinerary? Let's hear it, player one. Oh, 
and a thousand. The male of this wild goat of the Alps has backward curving horns that may be as long as it is tall. Was was the ibex? I think it's player one. Or the is the ibex? Yeah, it's ibex. That's correct. Player one. Back All right, let's do. America his, American history for 200. This famous transaction in 1803 doubled the territory of the U.S. Was the Louisiana Purchase. It's player one. Learned that a lot in school. You again. 400. In the 1760s, he and Charles Mason used milestones to mark the boundary line between Maryland and Pennsylvania. Was Dixon. Jeremiah okay, Dixon. One. With Jeremiah Di Jeremiah Dixon. Player one. Six hundred. The Watergate scandal led to the resignation of this U.S. president in 1974. With Richard Nixon. Yes, player one. Right, you are. Select again. Andrew. In the 1830s. Some 4,000 members of this Indian tribe died during a forced march known as the Trail of Tears. I'm not going to try this one. Here's the response we were looking for. The Cherokee. With the Cherokee. Okay. Let's so see if that category out. Well. Reconstruction refers to the period of readjustment and rebuilding after this war. Backing off, what is it? The correct response is the Civil War. It was the Civil War, okay. Player one, choose again. All right, let's do country cookbooks for 200. Fit for a King is full of his favorite recipes, including the chicken served at his wedding to Priscilla. It's player one. What is... Or who is Elvis Presley... That is correct. Talking about Priscilla, yeah. You again, player. 400. The Little House Cookbook features frontier foods from this woman's classic stories. Here's the correct response. Laura Ingalls Wilder. Oh, I should have known that. Please pick a 600. This one. daughter of Maybell Carter honored her mom by writing... Mother Maybell's cookbook. This was a hard player now. Two. With Jim Carter. Player two, make a selection, please, as we continue. You'll find Goober's banana pudding in this Mayberry Auntie's book of delightful desserts. It's player one. Who is Aunt B? Good for you. A lot of and a thousand. Like There's a recipe for butcher holler possum in your cooking it country by this country music queen. Here's the correct response. Loretta Lynn. Of course. We return to you, player. Right, let's do Monroe Paris for 200. In 1948, she had one line in Love Happy, the last Marx Brothers movie. Player one. Who is Marilyn Monroe? Yeah. That's correct. Player Monroe one. Paris 400. And DiMaggio and Berra, the secret to the Yankees' 11 pennants from 1947 to 1960 was Lucy Monroe's singing of this. It's player one. What is the Star, the Star Spangled Banner? Whoa! That is correct. You get to pick Six again. See Marion Monroe train as a child psychologist and co-write the book starring this unexciting boy-girl pair. Hmm. Here's the correct response. Dick and Jane. Why, Dick and Jane, okay. 
Player one. Andrew. 1940s singing star Vaughn Monroe had a rich voice in this middle male range, hence the nickname Old Leather Tonsils. Oh, no. Here's the correct response. Baritone. Was baritone, okay. We return to you, player one. Thousand. In 1912, Harriet Monroe launched the magazine simply called This. It soon published T.S. Eliot and Ezra Pound. Here's the correct response. Poetry. Oh, where's poetry? Okay. You again, player one. Uh, let's do plays for 200. You might need a learner's permit to watch Paula Vogel's Pulitzer Prize play, How I Learned to Do This. Okay, player one. What is, uh, drive? Yeah. You again, player 400. one. The play Spinning into Butter explores political correctness at a small college in this Green Mountain state. Let's see if I can try it. What is Vermont, I believe? <laughs> Layer one. 600. Moonlight and Magnolias depicts the epic struggle to turn this novel into a 1939 film. We're talking about Gone with the Wind. Hmm. Player one, choose again. 800. Matthew Burnett turned this Our Town playwright's novel, Theophilus North, into a play. Here's the correct response. Thornton Wilder. Okay, we'll finish this up. Let's have a look at the $1,000 clip. In 2006, New Yorkers awoke to find his 1935 play, Awake and Sing, back on Broadway. I think I know this one. I'm going to try it, actually. Oh, boy. Who is uh, Arthur Milver? I should have just let this Any one go. But that's okay. I'm still in the lead with the E200. Here is what we wanted. Clifford Odets. Yeah. All right. The selection will be yours, player three. When do you return from this break? But three wasn't um, alert in that round. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. Here we go. Wolfgang. Wolfgang. Science. Science abbreviation. Okay. Royalty, Royalty on, on film. film. Country's, Country's highest points. points. Our, Our world. And. Take me out to the history game. Okay. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Science there. abbreviation, okay. There's a phase of sleep, abbreviated N-R-E-M, which stands for No, This Eye Movement. Was rapid, I believe. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! Right. Where do we begin, science. player one? In computer science, GUI is this kind of user interface. I'm going to try it. Player one. What is... Um, Graphico? Yes. Twelve. As opposed to an MD, a DO is a doctor of this holistic practice. Yes, player one. What is... Obstetrics. Oh. Dag it. Oh. Nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here is 
what we wanted. Osteopathy. 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 Six oh, The T in TSH stands for this gland. The SH is for stimulating hormone. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, I know it. Player one? What is the thyroid? That is correct. And 2,000. It's a deli double. Answer. The first of the deli doubles. You are in the lead. Right I have now. a good lead, so too. Let's do 3,200. Here is your daily double clue. The lowercase r in R-R-N-A stands for this adjective. What is radio? However, you keep your lead. Okay. Here's the response we were looking for. Ribosomal. Ribosomal. Player one. All world 400. A dishonest or unprincipled man. Or one of the X-Men. Let's hear it, player one. What is a rasco? Oh. It's not rasco, daddy. Any other takers? Here's what we wanted. Rogue. Rogue, okay. Select again. Hey, Andrew. What the Brits oh, call a Macintosh isn't an apple, but one of these. Okay, player one. Okay, what is... I'm going to go with what is a uh, raincoat. That's it. Select again. Twelve. In the movies, it was Charles Foster Kane's cryptic final word. It's player two. Oh. Sorry. That rapture. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? I'll hazard one. Player one. What is Rosebud? Right. You again, player one. The Oxford English Dictionary defines it as a noisy dispute or quarrel. Let's try it. Let's hear it, player one. What is a riot? Damn it, no. Any other takers? Let's hear it. He finally right. chimes in. <laughs> Bro. Where do we begin, player three? Here's Sarah. Similar to a root, it's a botanical term for a thick stem from which shoots develop into new plants. Don't know. Here's what we were looking for. Rhizome. What is... Player three. What is Pat Again. doing? What is uh, well, Alex Miriam doing talking like a woman? In the Queen. It's player one. What is... Or who is Queen Victoria... I mean, excuse me, Queen Elizabeth II? That's correct. <laughs> Okay, let's get back Again, to out of that one. one. Take me out to the history so game before I 1922, and the black shirts forced King Victor Emmanuel III to appoint this far-right fielder as prime minister. Okay, player two. No. Any other takers? Okay, player one. Okay, who is um, Benita Mussolini? That's correct. You get to pick again. Player Damn. 1649. And this king is looking kind of tired out. Yep, here comes Oliver Cromwell to give him the hook. It's player two. Right you are. It's Charles the First. Player two, you start us off. It's July 10th, 1553, and this lady will pinch hit for Edward the Sixth, who's been taken out of the game. Cousin Mary is on deck.
Here is what we wanted. Jane Grey. Well, who is Jane Grey, okay? Player two, back to you for our next selection. It's going back, back, and it's over the 73-mile-long wall built in the 120s A.D. by this slugger, the Emperor. Yes, player two. Aww. Sorry, that's wrong. It's Augustus, no. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Okay, player one. Who is Octavian? No. It's the other one, Dad. Any other takers? I'm losing too much money now. Let's hear it, player three. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah! Woo! Player three, start us. It's 1902, and Teddy Roosevelt is putting this junior on the bench, the Supreme Court bench, and he'll be there for 29 years. Player two. E -E. On the plus side again. Okay, I get my All right, together. let's get back into this. Player two has control. Mount Kosciusko in New South Wales. Okay, player one. What is Australia? <laughs> player one, start us. Wolf game for 400. In a 12th century beast epic, Isengrim is a wolf who battles against the sneaky Reynard, one of these animals. Hmm. Here's the response we were looking for. A fox. Oh, wait, it's a fox, okay. Player one. Andrew. In a medieval legend, the town of Gubbio is terrorized by a wolf until this saint greets it and tames it. Here's the correct response. St. Francis. The St. Francis, okay. Please pick again. Well, Raksha right. is the mother wolf who raises this human boy in Kipling's The Jungle Book. This one I know. Player one. Who is Mowgli. You again, 16. player one. Okay, we got the daily double. Yeah. It. The other daily double. And you have the lead, player one. Ugh. Select your wager. Let's do a thousand. the Daily Double Clue. This Jack London wolf character survives years of dog fighting and finally finds a compassionate human owner. With White Fang. That puts you even further ahead. Player one. Two thousand. In her novel The Plains of Passage, a wolf named Wolf is the hunting partner of a cave woman. Here's the correct response. Jean M. All. Okay. Player one. Pick again. Okay, country's highest point, Air. Pico de Teide in the Canary Islands. Here's the correct response. Spain. With Spain, okay. Player one. 12. In East Africa. Mount Kilimanjaro. It's player two. Yeah. It's Tanzania. Player two, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? Phnom Auro. Okay, player two. That is correct. Cambodia, okay. You again, player two. In Central America, Doyle's Delight, not Victoria Peak, as was thought. Hmm. Don't know it. Here's the response we were looking for. Belize. Select again. Kate Blanchett in 1998 as this title queen. 
you can see this movie. Here's the correct response. Elizabeth the first. Okay. Please pick again, player two. Kirsten Dunst in 2006 as this title queen. Yeah, this is where it gets hard right here. We're talking about Marie Antoinette. Okay. We return to you, player two. Robert Shaw was him in A Man for All Seasons. It's player three. That's it. The Henry Day. Now a runaway vibe. the 2000s. Um. Catherine Hepburn was her in The Lion in Winter. It's not a runaway. Here's the correct response. Eleanor of Aquitaine. Good game. All of you will continue on to play Final Jeopardy when we return. We're back. The category for Final Jeopardy today is geometry. So, what's your wager? 1600. And the last clue? It's an ellipse with an eccentricity of zero. I think I had this one too. What is a circle? What did you say? And that will set you back. I should be okay right here. What did you say? And that will cost you. So I'm going to win the game with $10,000. So I will at least start a run here. Alright, so that's game one of my run of Jeopardy. I'm playing two and three tied up with $11.95, believe it or not. Alright, guys. This is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe and be careful. Take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, everybody.